guys, welcome back to Linda's Pantry. So today I'm going to bring you along for a dehydrating ride. Seems like you guys like those things. So I've got to dehydrate a bunch of mushrooms and get that stocked back up on the in the pantry. And so I've got some cremini and some white button mushrooms that I'm going to slice up and get on the dehydrator. I'm also going to add something else to the dehydrator, but it'll be in a different video. So anyway, um, I'll bring you along for the ride. So All hold right, on. I'm glad you decided to stay along. So we're gonna um, slice up some mushrooms. It's super easy. You don't have to uh, blanch these first or anything. And I really like the texture when they're rehydrated and the flavor. They're fun to use as croutons on a salad even. And they're very lightweight. I mean, it's just like air. Um, so I, uh, about, you know, this time of the year, when we're in the gardening mode, I go ahead and get a bunch of stuff dehydrated. So we have it, you know, for the year. So I'm gonna put some boiling water down on these so they can rehydrate while I'm slicing that other stuff up. And we'll see how many trays. I get these um, three pound things of mushrooms at Costco. And I like to do it the same day. You don't have to wash these. They're grown in a very sterile environment. And I don't mind, I mean, we just, that's the way we eat them. So if I see there's a little bit of peat moss or something on there, I'll go ahead and wipe it off with a towel. But I don't want to get them wet. I want them to be able to dehydrate quickly. And so we can move to the next dehydration video. And so, these are the cremini mushrooms or baby portobello. They're delicious. They're a really hearty mushroom. Um, although, I think when they're all uh, dehydrated, I don't think you can really tell the difference much um, in the taste like you can when they're fresh. So, anyway, that's what I'm doing. I'll, uh, let you know how many trays I get here I try to put them out in an even manner uh, so there's one layer going on uh, I do have some spaghetti sauce going on the stove that I actually use some of the dehydrated mushrooms in and I'll, that's what I'll put the little bowl of them when these finish rehydrating and let's see this first tray done and I will then bring you back when I've got them all sliced up. This is going to be a really quick video most likely because um, there you go that's one tray so I'll bring you back and let you know how many trays I get. All right guys. I need six trays. Oh. Three of each kind. So I went out and I picked some zucchini because I'm still in the thick of zucchini. So I'm going to dehydrate some zucchini chunks. I did 11 trays of that, um, actually, zucchini chunks yesterday. And so it won't hurt to do some more because we use them. And so I just come down and make it as easy as possible on myself to cut these into chunks. And... Just a, a nice way, and the flavor is delicious. It actually tastes like zucchini. The last time I, and it's been a long time, but the last time I bought um, zucchini from the store and did anything with it, it didn't even taste like a zucchini to me. It didn't taste right. So that's when you now I started learning more about stuff being genetically modified. And it just, it, I think it's a, a terrible thing to even think that we should be doing that but anyway okay so I'm gonna fill some more trays so I, I run the dehydrator on with a full amount going I don't want to waste energy by um, having it half full so get those trays and you can pack that on there pretty good I mean the air they shrink up and the air gets in between I've never had a problem so anyway um, that's what I'm gonna do now let me show you um, the mushrooms these are actually they plumped up pretty
pretty good. They don't, I mean, they don't get fat and fluffy like they are. Mm. The flavor is delicious. And I never ever throw that broth away. I've got that spaghetti sauce. I'm gonna throw everything in there. That broth has a lot of flavor to it as well. So it makes a wonderful cream and mushroom soup. Um, it just, it's delicious. So, uh, if you haven't dehydrated mushrooms and zucchini, I highly recommend it. And I'm going to put these on the dehydrator at one, 135 degrees. It's two o'clock in the afternoon and I won't take this off until tomorrow night. Most likely I'll check it in the morning, but, um, I got probably be tomorrow um, night. This is the end result of the dehydrating of the zucchini and the mushrooms and I just, I wanted to kind of get you guys geared up for some videos that I'm going to do. Uh, there, it's actually, everybody's doing meals in a jar, which I bought a book that I'm going to show you on my first video for that series. Um, I bought last year after I sent my husband up into the Ruby Mountains with Mountain House Meals and nothing against them except that I'm not crazy about a bunch of preservatives and sodium. And so I thought, why can't I make my own? And so I've ordered um, Mylar pouches and I've tested it out on the guys and I'm gonna make my own healthy version of, basically, it'll be like a meal in a jar, like Deb over at the Purveyan channel, but it'll be for backpacking, um, hunting, you know, when they've had too long a day and they all they want to do is add water and, and wait 20 minutes, they can have a full meal and it's going to be homemade just like I make it. So anyways, I hope you stay tuned for that. Don't forget to go to my Facebook page and like what you see. You can keep track of and or just like you could if you went to my channel, you can keep track of all my videos. I know if you just are on your home page on YouTube, it tends to not you know, you lose, you lose videos along the way. You don't get to see them all. So, especially if you're not on there every day. So, what I've got here is the end result of four trays, four trays of zucchini. And what I, I do, and I chop this zucchini, as you remember, um, four trays of zucchini. I've got this half gallon jar. I love these jars. Um, the first time I saw them was last year. Bear Prepper had them, and I was like, where did you get those? And I looked online to order them, and they weren't that cost effective for me at the time. So, sorry about the noise. So I'm gonna put this down in the jar. This year, I found them um, at my local market. It's always been the best place to buy canning jars. It's not so much now. It seems to be more expensive, but I think the more popular canning gets, the harder it's gonna to be to get jars. So I'm trying to top off this half gallon and I'm really gonna push that down because now I've got almost a whole gallon of dehydrated zucchini, which is amazing because it, <laughs> that was a, a pile of zucchini. So I'm gonna put my lid on. I will, um, Okay, maybe. Um, I, I am going to go ahead and get the food saver out and seal these jars and get them airtight so they last a really long time. I have done it in the past and then I've had jars where I didn't. I just put the lid on and they do just fine either way for me because we go through it fast enough. And if I'm gonna be doing some dehydrated and freeze dried meals, so I have them available, um, I'm gonna really wanna um, have a lot stocked up, obviously. So, anyways, we love mushrooms. They keep they keep a really interesting texture to them, and so these were both cremini and white button mushrooms. So this is really all there is to it. I don't have to worry about freezer space. Um, I don't have to worry about you know it's spoiling in the refrigerator. And I started this. As soon as I got a dehydrator about, I don't know, 15 years ago, I started this just pretty much, I'm gonna push that down. To, um, actually just when uh, I would buy vegetables in a bulk because it was cheaper, I would then 
go ahead and uh, as soon as I thought they were going to go bad, I would dehydrate them really fast to keep, you know, save money and to um, keep what I had purchased. So I am going to push these down a little bit more. Sometimes if they get too crumbled, I'll take all the big pieces out if I need that. And then I'll um, use the small stuff for soups and stews and or black truffle salt. These aren't wild mushrooms, but I'd still put it in there. So there you go. And so now that's going in the pantry. And that's as easy as it is. The trays are easy to clean up, just a quick rinse. And we can move on to the next video, which was also the top of my dehydrating trays. And I can't wait to share that with you, I hope. Uh, this inspires you to come back and oh, maybe start dehydrating. These are delicious and I can enjoy this all winter. No matter what happens, I am stocked up with vegetables that I love that I got at a price for today's prices and maybe they're going to go up this winter. I mean, we're having a drought in this country so um, I just, I really think it's a smart idea to not have to worry about the cost. What if one of us got laid off? What if, um, you know, I needed to help one of my kids and try to put that into our budget? Uh, or two of our kids, or three of our kids. You never know. So I hope it inspires you to try to be a little more self-reliant and think ahead. And maybe do some dehydrating. All right, guys, go like my page on Facebook at Linda's Pantry, and you know what? Send me a link to your page, and I'll like you too. All right, guys, God bless.